Seemed like uh, this this year there's been some tough losses. You know, some scars, of course, that have stayed with you. Um, didn't really see this coming. Um, you know, we had an idea what they would do. We knew that we needed to play well on both uh, both lines. You know, we knew who controlled the line of scrimmage, of course. It normally wins, but that was definitely the case. Um, defensively, we hadn't played good defense in a long time. We knew that they would come in and, you know, would, would lean on the run. We knew they had great tight ends, um, and that's what they were able to do. The part of the passing game with their, you know, early on, some of the crossing routes really hurt us. And in the end, they were able to run the football. Other side of the ball, uh, you know, we haven't played like this in a while offensively. Um, they dominated, you know, it starts up front again. Our defensive line played good football. You can't turn the ball over like we did today. I mean, as simple as that. Uh, in the punting game for the or in the special teams for the second week, but uh, also a couple of those early fumbles uh, really put us in a bind. So, give them a lot of credit. They're, you know, they're, they're definitely they were definitely better than us today, and uh, we have a long ways to go. After a performance like this, the only thing that can help you salvage a season is to uh, have your rival coming up. But again, disappointing. Take your question. Hey, you know, I mean, what do you say? I mean, you kind of, your, your first statement, worst loss in a long time, um, has to be better days ahead is what I would say. We're, we're not a good football team right now. Good football teams can get, get beaten soundly against a good football team. So that's where I'm right now. We won't always stay there. You had that <clears throat> takeaway really, really early in the game, but couldn't do anything with it. Kind of set the stage for what was that definitely set the stage, you know, in an ideal world, if you don't get the football initially and score, you would like to, you know, get a takeaway. And, uh, but we, that kind of told us a little bit about what type of day it would be. Well, it's tough if their career just ended with this game. You know, again, luckily there's another another chance we have to get it, to leave a good taste in their mouth. But this has to be disappointing your last home game to play like that. Coach, you stuck with AJ Bush for most of the game. Was there, was there any thought of, of getting MJ in there a little bit earlier? Thought, yeah. But, you know, I wish it was just as simple as change one guy. But when they're dominating you the way they did, I just don't think that that would have solved all of our problems. Um, one, it wasn't one person make one change today type of uh, game to change the performance. Uh, each group we went with, we thought they gave us our best chance to have some success. How prepared did you feel the defense was heading into this game? Very prepared, prepared. I mean, you don't go into a game thinking you're not prepared. We practice hard all week. Still feel that way. Today it didn't work. Treated this week in this game, you know, kind of must win and playoff push. And with that focus, how do you feel? How do you think you know, this result kind of I mean, what can I tell you? We treated it that way. This was an important football game for us. We practiced that way. We treated it that way. I think everybody knew that, and we lost today. Don't know what else to say besides that. There's disappointment. Sometimes you get disappointed. This is one of them. So you guys didn't see this coming. Was it something that they did that, that caused this, something different you weren't expecting? Yeah. We weren't expecting this. I don't quite know what to tell you. We got soundly defeated by Iowa today. We didn't play well in any phase. Starting with coaching, I thought I had the team prepared. We weren't. They outperformed us every way. So don't really know what else to say besides that, uh, except for we're going to try it again. We're going to go back to work tomorrow and see if we can have a better performance on the, you know, with our team next week. I, we don't, I mean, we didn't play well the last couple of weeks with special teams. Again, we practice the same way. Practice hard all week. Um, don't know exactly the reason why. When you lose, believe me, we would have done something about it. If there's a reason that we could have come up with to stop that from happening, the performance today, that's what we would have done. But that didn't happen today. How much did it hurt to have Sidney Brown and Jartavius Martin? It hurt to have all of our players out that didn't play today. And injuries 
or part of it. But where we are, the injury is really hurt when you have to keep going down that chain a little bit. So if I was giving you excuses, I mean, I would start with that. We are banged up, but we got to get the next guys that are playing right now more ready to play than we were today. You talked about the two tight ends and the crossing routes. I know you had them scouted and everything. Was there a specific way you wanted to defend them that kind of broke down, or was it just a matter of guys getting beat one-on-one? That, yes. That, scheme. I mean, you can play man-to-man coverage. You can play zone coverage. We played them both, all right? They were they completed balls in both situations, so. How did not having your Reggie maybe limit what you could do offensively? Maybe how much focus? Every player, guys, you know the guys that we play with. You know the guys that have been starters for us. If they're not out there, it hurt us today, everyone, from Reggie to Sidney to all of the other players. So, absolutely. We're where we are with our program right now. Uh, there's a drop-off. So, when drop-offs happen, uh, you can have a performance like this. It would have helped to have, to have all of those players you talked about. They were missing guys, too, though. Did the, did the Hawkeyes throw anything different at you scheme-wise? No. On side? No. Okay. Is the answer? No. They normally don't. They run the same thing. They believe in what they do, and they execute you, which they did against us today. The message is this, we, we're going to own this, which we have to do. Luckily, we have one more opportunity to get this bad taste out of our mouth. Nothing else you can say really about it. We have a quick turnaround. I'm going to go back to work with uh, against Northwestern tomorrow. But you would have down yeah. 35-0. What, what was the, the thought there as to what you guys could do in the second half to change what was happening? What was the thought? don't quite know how to answer that either. The thought was, it's not just at halftime. When things happen, you start correcting those right away. Come in at halftime, you make other adjustments. That's what we did. We thought we had an opportunity. There's two halves of football. We lost the first one. The thought process is win the second half to you know have production right away, offensively get the ball, get a drive right away. It's pretty simple. Offense has to score pretty much every time. Defense has to take the ball away. That was the game plan coming in the second half. But you went with the 4-3 look the whole, pretty much the whole game, three linebackers. Was that, was that based on the opponent, or was that because of the lack of depth you had in the secondary with, with all the injuries? 4-3, I don't quite understand. We're a 4-3 team, and we're always a 4-3 team. Like, they're a 4-3 team. Like most teams are a 4-3 team, or they're a 3-4 team. I don't quite know. Uh, what your question is. When you play a two-back set, a running formation like that, every team in America is that will line up in that set. From there, you got to get off blocks. There's only so much you can do. You have the delay in there instead of the, instead of the nickel is what I was getting at. It's three linebackers on the field. Most of the They're set coming in, though. We knew coming in that uh, Iowa is a, you know, run a traditional offense. Uh, we go nickel for the most part when teams go more three wide receivers. Today versus this, we knew that it would be a three linebacker, a, a, a basic uh, defensive attack uh, system that we would have, we'd be running. And that we thought that was a good thing with, with our depth in the sec- secondary right now to be able to keep our three linebackers out there. That was the best situation we could be in under these circumstances. Well, you said at Big Ten media days, you wanted to see progress in year three. Have you seen that this year? Overall, uh, last year, how many games did we win? I mean, have we this year? I say that that's progress. Disappointing right now, though. Uh, it's no, it's not time to talk about progress when you just lost that way. Today we didn't play well. Has there been progress this year? Absolutely. Will there be more in the future? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.